Hi, my name's James. I'm one of the founders of ChargeDesk. I'm just going to give you a quick uh, walkthrough today of how the ChargeDesk ex extension for Chrome works. Um, so as you can see, I'm currently on the Chrome Web Store, and I'm just going to go and add the Chrome extension to Chrome. Um, so we just need to approve the permissions. And you'll see straight away, we come up with a little information message saying that you've uh, installed the extension. Um, you can see we've got the panel open on the right here, um, which can be toggled open and closed from this little button here. And we've got some information on how to actually get uh, your account set up and connected to Chrome. So if you're new to ChargeDesk, you'll have to connect a uh, payment gateway to us. Um, so we currently support Stripe, PayPal, Braintree, and WePay. Um, so for example, if I was to connect Braintree, uh, it's really straightforward. I just click the connect button and it comes up and I would just need to put in my username and password for Braintree. Um, and that will go through and, and set up the whole process of setting up an account for me. Um, but instead, I'm actually going to go and use an existing account I've got. And um, this is a testing account. Um, so as you can see, I've got this connected up. I've got no customers here right now. Um, but if I've already got some customers in my account, I can do a search. And you can see they come up straight away. Um, so this is just searching through all my billing records and finding matching customers. Um, you can search for name, email address. Uh, you can search for the last uh, four digits of the credit card number and a whole bunch of other information um, to bring up your customers. Um, and that's it, so the ChargeDesk extension uh, is now installed. Um, I'm just going to show you a few other features of how, uh, how the extension works. Um, so for example, if I go to one of the sites that we support. So the ChargeDesk extension will actually work on any site, um, but there are a few sites where we have specialized integration um, that bring up custom details. Um, so you can see here, here's an example of just the generic uh, support that we have. And in this case, what we're doing is we're finding customers on the web page. Um, so we're finding email addresses of your customers. And we're showing you next to them a little tag which shows you the total charges made from their account. And I can click on these, for example, I can click on that 48 from Market Gmail. And it'll bring up all their billing information. So I can see that that $48 is made of uh, all these sort of $16 charges. And they've currently got three subscriptions active. Um, so I can close this. Alternatively, if I want to bring up all, you know, the information about all the customers on the page, I can just click this little icon. And you can see here that we've got 11 customers currently on the page, and this is the 11 people shown here. And just by clicking this icon, it's bringing up all the custom information. Um, and again, we, I can basically go through and any of these uh, charges, I can click on them to show a little bit more information about them. So I can see this was made by a MasterCard. Um, I can see the customer ID, the email address, um, and the last four digits of the credit card, of course. Um, I'll show a bit more about how our custom integration works with something like uh, Intercom. Um, so for example, if I was to uh, click on one of these accounts, so you can see here uh, that we've come through, and this is now the user page um, on Intercom. And we've got up here on the right, we've got the billing details for Lori. Um, so this is automatically contextually brought up uh, her most recent charges. Um, so you can see we've got a $16 charge here on the 19th of May. Um, and um, if we go through and we click on this charge, for example, um, we can see it was made by uh, Amex uh, credit card. Um, we can just click on the subscription to get additional information. And uh, from these pages, we can also do things like process refunds. So I can click on the refund button. I can enter a partial refund. So if I don't want to refund the full amount, um, I could refund sort of say $10. And it's going, going to go off and live uh, form this update against the payment gateway. So this is actually going off and refunding the credit card uh, payment straight away. And we've got immediate uh, result here. We can see that it's refunded the $10. We've, we've got a partial refund now, so the charge is only uh, $6. If you have refund notifications active inside ChargeDesk, uh, the customer will also receive a notification that the refund has been processed. And they'll receive a bit of an indication on how long it will take for that refund to appear back in their bank account based on the payment method. Um, so with PayPal, it's pretty quick, but some credit cards cards um, can take you know a few weeks to go through and that can be a sort of source of confusion um, so those uh, refund receipts can really help the customers understand that um, some of the other functionality we have you can cancel subscriptions of course um, you can create new charges so if I want to create a new charge here I can charge uh, the card on file um, so I can something like uh, $12 um, for file compression 
and this will go ahead and actually make the payment directly on the payment gateway. So we can see it's come up straight away. Um, we've got the information about the charge, we've got our file description, sorry, we've got the description here for file compression. Um, this is going to be visible to the customer and also to us, uh, so we can see what the charge is for. And yeah, you now have got that $12 in your bank account, so that, that uh, happens instantly. Uh, you can also perform the searches from here, similar uh, to the way we did it in uh, the panel overview. So again, this comes up really quickly. It's searching for all of the customer details here on the right. Um, we have some other integrations inside Intercom. Uh, for example, on the uh, inbox pages, if you're using this feature, you can see the uh, payment information up here on the right next to the customer details. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go back to this overview page and show you a few of the other features of the, inter of the actual extension. Um, so if we go to the settings panel on the extension, um, we have the ability to toggle a few things. Um, so for example, we can turn off the tags if we don't, don't want to show the tags. Um, or we can do things like change it to the last amount received or the last payment time. Um, so if I can change that, we can see the last date that the payment went through uh, for each of these customers. Um, I can also do things like change the colour. So say if our company colour was, um, let's go red, so you see our company colour was red. Um, and maybe we want to decrease the transparency a little bit because it's a bit too bright. Um, and we can see a sort of a preview up here. If I save that, immediately that comes up and we can see that it's showing up here on this panel. Um, and we can still continue to click through, so I can click through to any of these customers and show their payment information. Um, and finally, we've got these integration, this integration list here, so we can sort of toggle on and off these custom integrations. So we saw here on Intercom, we had the had it active on user pages in the inbox. Um, if we don't want to use those sort of panels on the right, we can actually uh, disable them from here. So if I turn off the user page integration and I go through to one of these customers, uh, we no longer have this panel up here on the right. Okay, um, and finally, I just want to show that um, so this integration can work on any any site. So if you have your own sort of admin panel where you might show information about your customers, um, so we can see here sort of like newer signups for Pied Piper, um, we can actually highlight which of these have been uh, converted to paying customers, and we can click on them and immediately bring up the payment information. So it can be really useful uh, in your own sort of internal systems if you want to help manage your customers a little bit faster. Um, this can really give you quick contextual information. Um, and again, you can click on this icon and you can show all of the customer details that are visible on the page. And that's it. That's just a quick overview of how the uh, ChargeDesk integration for Chrome works. Um, we do have specific integrations for Zendesk and a few other uh, uh, help desks as well that don't require the Chrome extension. Um, but we do think the Chrome extension is a great way to get access to your customer's billing information wherever you are on the web. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them through to us at contact at chargedesk.com. Uh, we're always improving this product and bringing out new features. Um, so we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for anything else we can add. Thanks a lot.